You ask, we take action. For many senior citizens in Ticonderoga, the senior bus is their main mode of transportation. So when it recently started breaking down, this became a townwide issue. A senior, in fact, contacted us saying the date for getting a new bus kept being pushed back. I decided to talk to the town and the seniors to figure out what was going on. We meet each other and we laugh and, and we eat and, you know, we have a good time. For these seniors in Ticonderoga... That was one of the main reasons I moved here, because I can no longer drive. This senior bus isn't just a necessary mode of transportation. Senior bus is the best thing that ever happened to Ticonderoga. It's a way of life. Got some groceries there. Without it, we'd be stuck in the house all the time. You have a lot of people in Ty that are unable to drive, too old to drive, or can't afford to drive. You're looking at the new senior bus that just arrived in May. I'm just thankful that we got it before the old one quit. <laughs> Earl Barber is being serious. By the time the old bus got off the road, it had two broken windows and a busted AC unit. Last year, we had one of our board members looking into the replacement of a new vehicle. The vehicle is about seven years old now. Ticonderoga's town supervisor, Joe Giordano, came on board in 2015. He says the process to acquire a new bus was a lot tougher than he thought. It took a little bit of time to understand exactly how we needed to go out to bid for this particular vehicle and then we finally got that submitted in September but it turned out to be a stellar year for the busing industry in terms of having a record number of sales for buses so the typical build time for this vehicle was like four months and it got pushed out to six months. Joe Giordano tells me this bus cost the town just under $52,000. He says it's something they actually saved up for in a capital reserve fund. We're following you. But until it got here, the seniors had to rely on their old bus. It's got 120,000 miles and using about a quart of oil a week. Bob Diedrich has been a senior bus driver for years. One of the coldest days in January, we lost two of the windows. I mean, shouted right out. Did you ever feel unsafe driving that old bus? It sounds like it was pretty rickety. Well, I felt very, very unsafe with the, with the windows gone. I only, we only had cardboard there, and then we had it taped up with duct tape. In fact, I went to our town supervisor the last, well, we did it for several weeks, and I went to him, and I says, I, well, I can't drive this bus anymore. I asked Joe what he thought. Reassure me that it was safe. Yeah, there were some concerns that it wasn't um, safe, and it was. Um, it, it got to the point where we finally went ahead and got a, um, a rental car to carry them around for that duration until this bus finally came in. Thanks, Elaine. Bye now. For now, what these seniors had to go through is a thing of the past. It is wonderful to have it. I know Joe was on that phone constantly trying to get them updated and get it here quicker. And Joe assures me and them. If we had to do it again, obviously learning the lessons we learned, we would have you know, made some different choices along the way. Lesson learned. And the town is trying to take a more proactive approach to make sure we're maintaining safe, reliable equipment. Megan Carpenter, Local 44 News. Goodbye, well, thanks. Ticonderoga. The seniors pay a fare of $2 to ride that bus, but with that one payment, they can make as many stops as they want in a day. They say it's still a lot cheaper than taking a cab. And they get to see their friends, too. Very so cool. That's a good thing, too.